Bandsaws are extremely versatile machines due to the width of the blades that can be used. If I'm milling a log, I want the blade to be as wide as possible to prevent deflection. With narrower blades, like this eighth inch blade, I can easily cut the shape of a coin out. But if I try to use this blade to rip a piece of stock, the blade can wander as there are stresses in the wood. On the other hand, if I try to cut shapes with a wide blade, I can cause the blade to bind and even break. But you don't necessarily have to change the blade in the bandsaw if you need to cut a shape. Instead, we'll use relief cuts. Relief cuts release the blade from jams by taking the pressure off of the width, also known as the clearance, of the blade. With shapes mapped and plotted, we'll trim our stock down to the pencil line before we go to the bandsaw. At this point, depending on the width of the blade, you'll have to decide how many relief cuts you'll need, but the rule of thumb is the sharper the radius, the more cuts needed. With the relief cuts made, instead of binding, our pieces will pop out, removing internal stresses that were created as we twisted our stock. Sub and follow for more bite-sized tips. Keep making things.